Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Adam, home again, July 2. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. 1 Corinthians 15, 23 Amid the reeling of the earth, the flash of lightning and the roar of thunder, the voice of the Son of God calls forth the sleeping saints. The dead shall hear that voice, and they that hear shall live. And the whole earth shall ring with the tread of the exceeding great army of every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. All come forth from their grave the same in stature as when they entered the tomb. Adam, who stands among the risen throng, is of lofty height and majestic form and stature, but little below the Son of God. He presents a marked contrast to the people of latter generations. In this one respect is shown the great degeneracy of the race, but all arise with the freshness and vigor of eternal youth. All blemishes and deformities are left in the grave. Restored to the tree of life in the long lost Eden, the redeemed will grow up to the full stature of the race in its primeval glory. As the ransomed ones are welcomed to the city of God, there rings out upon the air of exultant cry of adoration. The two Adams are about to meet. The Son of God is standing with outstretched arms to receive the Father of our race, the being whom he created, who sinned against his Maker, and for whose sin the mark of the crucifixion are borne upon the Saviour's form. As Adam discerns the prince of the cruel nails, he does not fall upon the bosom of his Lord, but, in humiliation, casts himself at his feet, crying, Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Tenderly, the Saviour lifts him up and bids him look once more upon the Eden home from which he has so long been exiled. This reunion is witnessed by the angels who wept at the fall of Adam and rejoiced when Jesus, after his resurrection, ascended to heaven, having opened the grave for all who should believe on his name. Now they behold the work of redemption accomplished, and they unite their voices in the song of praise.